you're still a special assistant for the Twins. Mm -hmm. You have a big background, obviously, in scouting. How do you, you view the Northwoods League and, and organizations like the Loggers? Well, they're all wonderful opportunities for the college kids to continue their uh, baseball, uh, get their work in. In the summer, they play a whole bunch of games, you know, not many days off, if any. You know, one here and there for the All-Star game, I know, but uh, it's a lot of baseball for them to play, and it's a great opportunity to hone their skills and, and meet new people. So it's a, uh, we always talk about the camaraderie and developing camaraderie on a team, and, and this is a chance for meet new friends, make new friends, play a game, play together as a unit, and uh, bond a little bit and form that. Uh, you never know who, what kind of friends you're gonna make over the years, but to get to the baseball stuff, it's, it's just another avenue for them to continue their baseball and take it from the college to the summer league, back to the college, or, or hopefully get in the draft and maybe get drafted and, and maybe start a pro career. So again, it's just a, a wonderful avenue. And I know the North Woods League is starting to uh, bypass some of the other college leagues around the country on um, people that do get drafted. So I know it's uh, really moving forward, and, and that's a good sign for uh, all us in the upper Midwest. There's a lot more baseball to see. You'll be speaking later tonight. What's kind of your main message to everyone here? Well, we, we, we talk a little bit about uh, it, my, my speech is changing, and in, in the middle of them sometimes they change. <laughs> so, uh, But uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, uh, making some choices and uh, as we go through life and and uh, we all have choices to make and decisions to make and we're going to make some mistakes along the way and and uh, that sort of thing i'm going to try to tie it in so that uh, some of the younger people can uh, maybe relate to it a little bit and and uh, some of the older people can uh, maybe apply it to their their lives and, and what they do in their jobs and businesses that they have so uh, i try to get everybody incorporated and, and uh, it depends what kind of group you're going to speak to but uh, uh, again sometimes I get off track and things start going and, and uh, I forget my script so uh, again uh, but bottom line we're going to try to uh, uh, just talk about uh, the chances that we're going to take and some of the choices that we will make in our lives. Since you retired 13 years ago how have you seen the game well, I'm change? Old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey, this is an off season where Alex Rodriguez gets more headlines yeah. than some of the bigger off season acquisitions. You know, and those kind of things I, I don't pay much attention to anymore. Uh, sort of cringe almost when I start reading that stuff. And it's it's you know you feel bad. Uh, like just in Alex's case, he was always nice to me. You know, so but I know he's got issues. You know, he's got a few things going on there, and and. Uh, Quite frankly, I, I think most people are probably a little tired of hearing about that part of the game of baseball. I know I am. I know other people are as well. But again, uh, it's out there and it's part of the game and it's unfortunate. But there's so many good parts of the game with so many good players and young players that are coming up and, and doing some wonderful things. So um, we focus so much on, on Twins baseball that we... Uh, just so much worry about what we're doing and uh, how we're going to get better that, that uh, sometimes we lose sight of some of the other stuff that goes on. You know, I, I think we were all were disappointed when Morris Jack didn't make the uh, Hall of Fame and, and that was a big blow to us up there and, and uh, I'm sure all baseball fans in the upper Midwest. So uh, hopefully he'll get in in a couple of years in the Veterans uh, Committee and that avenue that he can get in. So. Uh, you know, so there's a lot of stuff that goes on that uh, more positive things than, than uh, some of the negative stuff. Just about the Twins this mm -hmm. year, you guys have invested very heavily in pitching. What's yeah. going to happen to turn around? What's uh, well, been a tough, difficult few no, years? No, yeah, that's, that's an understatement, and uh, that's, that was kind the way you said it. Uh, we haven't done well pitching-wise. We have to improve our pitching. If we don't, uh, we'll still struggle. So. There's no way around it. If you don't pitch and catch the ball when you're supposed to, you're going to have a hard time. And uh, we catch the ball pretty good last year, but we did not pitch very well. So you end up uh, losing 90-some games. But that's last year. Mr. Ryan, uh, general manager, has gone out and secured uh, Phil Hughes. Hopefully he uh, 
had, he had somewhat of a hard time pitching in New York, pitched well on the road. Hopefully getting out of uh, New York will help him. Uh, Ricky Nolasco, another pitcher who's been a little bit traveled, has a decent res uh, reputation as a starting pitcher, eat up the innings, uh, hopefully uh, with Pelfrey and Correa, and now we need one of our younger people to step up and pitch. So we need people the, to our free agents that we acquired to do well, obviously. Uh, and we need some, some couple of young guys, one or two, to step up there and maybe secure a spot. You know, take the bull by the horns, the old cliche, and, and get out there and, and pitch 200 innings and, and uh, step up. So uh, we have to have a few things come together if, if we're going to have a chance to be successful.